This is Eagle Al, and today I'll be talking about game day. Guys that need the flash, guys that are fighting for a spot. But hey, man, let's get straight into it. All right, man, so let's hop straight into it. Eagles versus Vikings, preseason day, and um, these dudes are fighting for a spot. I mean, I think Marlon T is definitely fighting for a spot. Eli Riggs. There's plenty more. You know, do we keep four running backs? One of those running backs are fighting for a spot. I, I still think there's a competition between Pickett and McKee, oh, Tanner McKee. But Tanner McKee has been looking bad during training camp, but good during the games. So we'll see how that go. But let's talk about the wide receiver position first. Paris Campbell versus Anaya Smith. Now, if you ask me, without the politics involved, Paris Campbell is definitely better than Anaya Smith. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But one is a rookie and potentially has an upside. We know who Paris Campbell is already. And the thing with Paris Campbell, he even showed that he can't stay healthy. That's the problem. I think Paris Campbell is going to have the game of his life. But who do you cut over Paris Campbell? Do you cut Covey, a guy that can punt return, kick return, and play the slot? You don't cut Johnny Wilson. You don't cut Anaya Smith. You just traded for Jahad Dotson. Like, Paris Campbell is in a sticky situation. But I will say this. If Paris Campbell was to be cut, he would find a team. And if not, he would definitely be on the practice squad. And I could see us elevating him a lot and then dropping Anaya Smith to the practice squad. So I could see that happening a lot. But, um, yeah, I, I think Paris Campbell is fighting for a spot. He need it. And Anaya Smith is just fighting for to show that he can play to show that he can't get playing time in the regular season because we all thought Anaya Smith was going to be that guy in the slot. He's going to be the guy. He moves around. He could be like a Debo-type-esque player. But to be fair to Anaya Smith, he did end training camp really well. I mean, go to reporter after reporter after reporter. Yeah, they're like, Anaya Smith, he was good. He was playing like how they thought he was going to play in the beginning. One-handed catches, um, catching the ball in general, making people miss, doing what he's supposed to do. The thing is, it might be too late for him to move up the depth chart because I don't think he's better than Covey right now. I don't think he's better than Johnny Wilson right now. So he might be just fighting. Like, I, I deserve playing time. I, I think he's a worse punt returner than what we thought. I, I don't think he looked good back there at all, not at the NFL level. He don't look good. I know his combine wasn't that fast, but as far as what i seen, as far as the preseason, yeah, he don't look that fast. He looked like he could move quick, but that straight line speed, he don't have it. He definitely don't have it. Yeah, these two are basically battling it out. But again, without the politics and who was drafted first, this and that, a nice, I mean, I'm sorry, Paris Campbell is light years ahead of Anaya Smith, but at the end of the day, you drafted a nice Smith in the fifth round for a reason. You hoping he can develop and become somebody. And a fall off of Paris Campbell, man, oh, man, he came here like, yeah, he's definitely the wide receiver three. He had that speed to the team. He's going to stretch the field. He's going to be something, you know, we thought Quez Watkins could be to a guy. He's not going to make the team. But, again, his injury history and how we not playing around. How he's not playing around? Like, okay, he's hurt already. Um, Anaya Smith not panning out. Um, Covey, too many questions. He he got an upside, but too many questions. Now, nah, let me go out there and get somebody. Even though, me personally, I would keep the same energy. I don't think there was such a big deal to get a wide receiver three, but it does add another dynamic to the offense. I can't lie. It, it does. Because people will say, what if A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith or one of them get hurt? I think one of them can take over a game, too. So Devontae Smith, we've seen that during the Tampa Bay game, took over. And then you plus you add Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, Dallas Goddard, and Devontae Smith 
or A.J. Brown can win you a couple games without the other guy. I'm just saying, man. And then you got a competent head, I mean, not competent head coach, a competent offensive coordinator. I think you would have been fine, but I'm not going to lie. Adding Jahan Dotson is really good because you got so many questions about the other guys. My only question about Jahan Dotson is like, did he actually fall off? Because the numbers are telling me one thing. The reporters in Washington is telling another story. The reporters in Washington are telling he's not mentally ready. But the numbers are telling me he looked the same to me. So I, I got to see it. I got to see it to believe it. So Jahad Dotson being the fourth, fifth option on the team, I, I think he could flourish. And then that pressure of, I guess, being that first first round draft pick would be off of him. I think Washington wanted like a little more, but come on, y'all gave him um, Carson Wentz and all these other dudes, misfit type dudes. You really never gave him a shot. Never gave him a shot. So let's see what he do in Philadelphia. But I want to talk about another guy that is fighting for a spot, Eli Ricks. Eli Ricks is fighting for a spot. I think I think the Eagles find a way to get him on the roster, even if, you know, we have three running backs and maybe nine offensive linemen, because I know we usually go like four running backs and then like 10. But Eli Ritz is so talented and his, his, you know, the sky's the limit for him. Ceiling is all the way up there, man. But I want him to show something, though. I really do. I, I want him to show like he can be a starting caliber type corner in this league. Like now I'm just looking out for the person because even if he don't make the team, he's going to get claimed fast. Hopefully it's not by like the Giants because the Giants need a corner, but he's going to get claimed fast and it might come back to haunt us. It, it, really, it really do. It, it really will. But at the same time, you you got young young talent here. Even if Eli Ritz goes somewhere else, and you got to sacrifice him, you you hoping Cooper DeGene can develop. Quinn Mitchell is only going to get better. Keely Ringo is only going to get better. So you you hoping that's the case? Because if you ask me, I think Eli Ritz and Keely Ringo the separation is not too far. If you ask certain people, they might say Eli Ritz better. But politics, man, politics, you draft the one guy in the what third, fourth round and one guy went undrafted. Got to be honest. And the only way you could take a guy's spot like that, if you just straight up outperform him. But I can't lie. Keely Ringo has been really good. And you counting on that upside, that speed and how he can develop. But I, I think Eli Ritz, again, is right there. He's right there. So I, I want to see what Eli Ritz can do, make these coaches' decisions hard. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, if he was to get cut, he clear waivers and we put him on the practice squad. So I want him to ball out. I want him to ball out, man, to show that he's that guy. He ended training camp really strong, just in this last preseason game, strong. I think Eli Ritz got this, man. He's going to be on somebody roster. If not ours, he's he's going to be on somebody roster. He won't be unemployed for too long. And it's another guy I want to talk about that's guaranteed to make a spot, but he needs to show some flashes, is Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene must show some flashes. He got to show something, man. I mean, he's been literally on and off, and I get it. He just coming off an injury hamstring and yeah again I, I just get it. it it could be a slow start the game could be moving a little too fast for him but he got to show something man he got to show that he he's that guy he can play I want to see him make a play I'm like okay not necessarily an exception like him being close to somebody nobody burning him or something like that him getting a pass deflection or something like that because I heard Covey was abusing him, abusing him at training camp. It's not good. Anaya Smith got over on him. 
Remember, he had that terrible day, and then he came back and had a decent day. I need to see something, man. I definitely need to see something. I don't want to see him just get abused, because if that happens, that's going to be the talking point for like a week. Because what, the first game is in two weeks, or technically a week, if Cooper DeGene get abused this game, and he's showing like he's not ready yet, that's going to be the talk of the town. So he got to show, like, I I could play. Because if not, you know, I was just talking about Eli Ritz. A lot of people are like, why you don't just keep Eli Ritz? Not over Cooper DeGene, but we know Cooper DeGene's just not ready. You got to find a guy who can stick around. And just in case somebody get hurt, do you call up Cooper DeGene, who's not ready, or a guy like Eli Ritz, second year, we know how he played, and he's getting better. So we we got to see something. We got to see something, man. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? Cooper DeGene, Paris Campbell versus Anaya Smith, Eli Ritz, will he make this team? We will see. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.